about a week ago, a little bit over a week ago, I made a video, my first video on the one the only Amberlynn Reed. You guys seem to enjoy it. The video did great. I had a blast making it, mainly because it was my first time diving into it. And of course I've heard of her before, but I just never really dig deep enough into recently. Once again, a shout out to my friend who, uh, who got that ball going for me. Like the top comment said, never in my 19 years of being alive on this earth that I think sensitive was going to make a video about Amberlynn. And this person said, seeing someone cover Amber, who isn't an Amber reaction channel. Feels like I'm living in an alternative reality. I appreciate the good feedback. That was my first rodeo. I jumped in a little late. I always say better late than ever. But what am I making a follow-up video? Besides the fact that, and I don't know if I should say this publicly, but I am low-key invested. Ever since then, I've been checking out the Amberverse Reddit and, <laughs> and we're gonna get back into it. But the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because the last time she uploaded was about two weeks ago. Now, real quick catching up, last time we talked about her here, she started dating this person who went by Johnny Salami or something like that. They started dating and then allegedly that person used to be a feeder and the feeder is someone that gets turned on by uh, their partners eating. And that's how his wife allegedly died because she got fed to death. She was over a thousand pounds that's what the story is and people are worried about amber because you know she's a big girl a plus size icon you know low-key dangerous uh, so she made this video responding to everything then i want to jump into her instagram <laughs> which is just the best. And then lastly, I will be checking out the subreddit. Hey guys, so I originally had a, a different video that I was gonna have go up today, but I just feel like a lot is happening and it's super overwhelming. I don't, I don't know, like I'm only one person over here. And it's just like so much is being said and I know legal terms love to be thrown around like slander, defamation, nine times out of 10, people don't really know what they're talking about. I told myself I would never talk about this to protect myself because it is scary because there's a lot that goes in it but like if i can somehow prove that i'm not lying then i'm going to do that i shouldn't have to i shouldn't have to stand here and do this like i honestly feel pathetic i feel triggered i feel just like youtube is ruining my life like truly ruining my life and I have gone through a lot <laughs> with YouTube. I've gone through a fucking lot. I have had some serious high highs and I've had some serious low lows. And seeing what a large chunk of whatever this community is doing, seeing what you guys are doing has made me just not want to do YouTube anymore. And that scares me because that means I'm about to drastically change my life if I choose to take a step back. AKA stop living life and recruit difficulty. Listen guys, I completely get her. I'm a fellow content creator, okay? I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I get it, once you get comfy, you're making a few racks, right, per month. Amberlynn has been doing this for much longer than I have, so I'm pretty sure she has a big wallet. I don't know what to tell you besides welcome to being a fucking content creator. <laughs> When people ask me, right, yo, how do I make money? Or what What do you recommend me do if I don't want to go to college, work a nine to five? I always say, if you have something to say, or you can provide something to someone out there, I highly encourage people to become YouTubers, but I also make them aware that it's draining. It's a very lonely job. You're pretty isolated. And I swear to God, this is not a uh, bitching and moaning video about <laughs> being a YouTuber is so hard. I'm making thousands of billions of dollars, but I'm alone. Wait, wait. No, I I'm not trying to say that. I just try to tell people, dude, it's extremely rewarding. But once again, it's a very isolated job. You're legitimately talking to a screen or to a wall. On top of that, you gotta get criticism everyone gets it no one is above criticism and a lot of people can't deal with that and that's completely fine this job is not for everyone you know i've definitely got my uh <laughs> my my fair share of criticism over the years you live and you learn the reason why i'm saying all of this is because amber loves to play the victim all the time to what i've read on the subreddit it seems like this is her whole shtick gets into controversy 
cries and threatens to leave forever. I repeat, it's the Amberlyn Reed cycle. It's just, and realistically, Amber, where else are you gonna get a job at that's going to pay you this good for doing nothing but eating and crying? No one's going to pay you thousands of dollars to sit on your ass all day, a live stream, cry and eat ice cream and on top of that it's like you did this to yourself now something that i don't like about amber lynn one of the things i don't like is the fact that she always turns off comment section i personally have never turned off the youtube comment section criticism is good criticism makes you a better person if you say or you do something stupid you read the comments you're like oh maybe that was not it <laughs> Yeah, I'm not rocking with this. I'm not a big fan of YouTubers that turn off the comment section when they're getting some backlash. That's the reason why people never learn because they don't listen to anyone else. It looks like she doesn't want to hear anything from anyone that isn't her or Johnny Salami. You know, people like that will never grow. What you guys are doing has made me just not want to do YouTube anymore. And that scares me because that means I'm about to drastically change my life if I choose to take a step back. I really don't want to stand here and cry and be whiny. I don't want to do any of that because I do take partial credit into all of this. Years ago, I became a fucking troll. A huge troll. I almost asked for the negativity, especially like... 2019, 2018, 2017, I almost asked for it. Any attention was good attention for me. Even if it was bad, even if it made me feel like shit. But as someone who's gonna be 34 years old, I regret that. I regret that side of me. But we do shit in our 20s that we regret. How old was she when she was trolling? Because <laughs> I'm in my 20s, right? I, you know, I still do dumb, silly, goofy stuff because I'm not in my late 20s, okay? I haven't hit unk status yet. Just want to make that very clear. And listen, I like to troll from time to time. I like to get silly. Some may say even goofy. Engaging with trolls and building your channel on that is one of the worst things ever. That is a certified way to make sure your core audience, if not your core audience, a big percentage of your audience is just there to troll with you, to fuck with you, because they know they get a reaction. Number one rule, this goes to any content creators out there, number uno rule here is don't let the trolls see that you're being affected by their words. Because these people are like sharks. The second they smell blood and they're like, oh, if I keep saying this about this person, I'm gonna get a reaction out of them and then they're gonna be mad. Once they got you, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. It's never a good idea to build your whole channel on that. How did you not know better? And I'm not claiming to be the smartest person alive, right? My name isn't like in Sensitive Society, Einstein the third. It's just common sense, really. I get it, YouTube 10 years ago was completely different. And just the way you handle criticism and the way you react to stuff is in the worst way possible from what I've seen. Feels like she's crying every single video. Nothing against crying, you know, we all do it from time to time, especially at 3 a.m him it's just like an easy excuse guys stop criticizing me i'm crying leave me alone or else you're like a dick or a bully you're 34 let's be adults here <laughs> come on now. you guys won't change with me you guys aren't changing with me and i'm just i'm just like stuck in this weird girl world like amberverse negative just like horrible space and i want to break up with it i don't want to be a part of it anymore and i just don't know what to do. Stepping away from any sort of job is hard and it takes time and thought and you need to figure out like, okay, so if I step away, what are my next steps? I have to figure that out. Is it really that hard to sit down with fucking Johnny Salami or whatever the fuck her name is and talk about the insane allegations she has against her. If she says innocent as you claim she is, why not just talk about it? Why not just acknowledge it and respond and debunk people so they leave you alone? That's what I would do. Like if I had insane allegations that I fucking killed someone and I know that I didn't do anything wrong, I'm responding, I'm addressing it. That will make things so much easier. And you wouldn't have to do this whole thing with, guys, I'm leaving YouTube for the 50th billion times. Still through it all, I have been able to manage a positive outlook on life whether you guys see that or not i try my hardest in my real life to be happy and bubbly and positive but i feel like i'm losing sight of that person like the person that i tried so hard to be especially once i moved to oklahoma and moved in 
by myself like I found myself changing and being better and improving in multiple different ways and now I just feel myself backtracking and that scares me and I don't want to be in that position but it seems to me from someone who's not a big fan of Amber right from someone who's barely getting into this right it seems to me like she needs to step away from the internet for a bit. And I was about to be like, yo, Aberlin, congrats. You know, the last time you were on was like, when was the last time she dropped? Two weeks ago, you finally took some advice. You left the internet for a bit. But then I found out that she was literally live like six days ago. <laughs> you know, next time I post to Instagram, I'm gonna have the fucking devil filters. I mean, she's still active. This is from literally two days ago. Devil horn filter is her longest, most committed relationship. My house started shaking earlier was that you or an earthquake <laughs> you know that is insane you know low-key kind of respect the fact that the comments are still on so i could leave a comment let's leave one let's just do it let's send that in and there i am uh let's see if uh if i get a response back long story short yeah she's still online even though from the looks of things from an outsider's point of view once again i'm not a pro it seems to me like she desperately needs some time off the internet and by that i mean deleting fucking tiktok instagram twitter stepping away from everything because that seems to be the problem for her once again i'm not saying she's innocent in this wholesome individual like yeah she's definitely done this to herself in my opinion she needs to step away for uh, for a bit because it's clearly not healthy and before we go i just briefly want to take a look at this subreddit this person says <laughs> i've been trying so hard to call who slami reminded me of is this slappy from uh what's the fucking show goosebumps like do you guys see the vision <laughs> and then they saw this this is grade a work it's insane to me that there's a community so dedicated to amber like not in a bad way i guess once again i'm extremely casual with this but it's just a very interesting thing that you don't really see that often it's dedicated amber do i look fatter also amber that is an insane build god really hit the random buttons on that one but anyways enough of this what do you guys think of this let me know in the comments below please subscribe if you enjoyed it uh, send me video recommendations via Instagram. It's in the description below. This was fun. I like this. It's different. Hopefully Amber responds to my comments and uh, I'll see you next time. All right. Peace out. <laughs>